Hello everyone, this is Gavin and welcome to our e-commerce project tutorial for beginner. In this tutorial, we are going to let the admin print the PDF or download the PDF for a user order. So first of all, we are going to have a print PDF button over here and if the admin click on that button, it will download a certain PDF for an order. So for it, let's go back to our port and we'll just directly go to our resource, then in queues. Then in the admin folder and in the admin folder we have our order right for php so let me just go forward so after the change status let's have another d stack here we're going to say print pdf then let me go down and in this for each loop after this td let's mention another td here for this we're going to say print pdf and let's also mention a bootstrap class and that class then will be uh let's say btl btl secondary second secondary and we can keep it inside the anchor tag okay then we just carve this pop here and mention anchor tag then we say here print pdf and this class will go inside the anchor tag like this so right now let's save this then let me just refresh here and there you can see we have a spin pdf barcode so what we all is when you click on that barcode it will download a pdf so for it let's go and write our board first of all we are to download a pdf for a specific order so for it we need to get the specific order id so here in this href we're going to get to second bracket then we'll say here url to first bracket single condition let's say mint underscore pdf and we also need to cast the id so order id so we'll say here dollar data this arrow side id so this will cast the id so right now let's go to our web.php and create this raw so we'll go to our raw then web.php let me just type in code down and here's Let's just copy this row, then paste it here. When we just say here, our row name is print PDF. So let me just copy this, paste it here. We'll use the admin controller, and our function name will be print PDF. So let's go to our admin controller and create this function. So we'll go to our app, then HTTP controllers, then admin controller. Let me just go down. And here we are going to say public file shell print media. First, we we'll cast the ID that we are just sending from here. So, right now we want to print a PDF. So, in order to print a PDF, we need to use a package in Laravel. So, first of all, let's go and install the package. Then, we we'll write some more to print our PDF. So, the package we are going to give is for Laravel Tom PDF. So this is the package we need to use in order to print a PDF in Laravel. So we just go down and here you can see for Laravel we need to run this command to install this package. Which is Composer Ningbar Barry Laravel Long PDF. So I'll also give this command in the description. Just check out the description. Okay, so I'll just copy this. Then let me just go to the project directory. And we are in the project directory. Let me just open a command prompt here. Paste the command, which is this one composer require very many days slash Laravel dash dom PDF. So right now we press enter and it will install this package to now Laravel project. So this way takes some time, like five minutes. So I will just fast forward the video. So there you can see our package is installed and it took like 5 minutes. So after this command, after uh, this command, we need to run one more command and that is, let me just go down. And if I go down, here you can see configuration part. I will give this link in the description and you will also find the command in the description as well. So let me just copy this, control C and we'll go back to our command prompt and paste the command 
that you can see PS Coalition vendor publish provider parent PDAs, DOM PDF, service provider. So I'll just press enter and there you can see publishing is done. So installing package is complete. So after that, what we need to do is we need to go up a little up and here you can see use very VDA strong media packet PDR. So we need to copy this. Then we need to go to our controller and we'll go to our admin controller because from here we are going to do print out PDF. So we'll go to our admin controller and at the top of our admin controller we're going to add this on use berry pdh com pdf backslash packet backslash pdf this on okay just add this on after that we we'll go down and we we'll come to this function then in order to print the pdf we need to write two line of four so let me just go back up to the browser again and this is the line so let me just copy this and paste it here so we need to say here dollar pdf so here we need to mention it view or read file length and this is in order to print the pdf so let me just remove the dollar data from here and then here let's say here add in dot invoice first of all let me just cut this line for now so that you just don't get confused so here we are just declaring a variable and we are saying that make a PDF from this view. So we do not have this new admin dot voice. So let me just go to the admin folder and here we are going to create a new file. So we'll say here a new file and the new file name will be in coins dot name dot php. Let's save it, control S and save. So here in this just say simple HTML and in the body when we will say I am a PDF. Let's save this and here. So right now we already have a view admin.invoice which is this one and we just write about it here I am a PDF. So in order to download it as a PDF we need to write here return dollar PDF download and we just even give a name but make sure that after giving the name you need to give dot pdf as a extension okay so right now if we just set this then refresh here then if we just click on print pdf there can see something downloaded and if we just open it it is stated over here i am a pdf and the file name is invoice dot pdf which we just right over here you can give different name if you want but make sure that the extension is .pds so obviously we work all for see this we want to see the customer name address phone number program name codec emails and price so for it what we need to do is here you can see we are really send the id to our controller so here let me just declare a variable let's say a dollar data equal to we are going to mention our table name which is order double door fine to first bracket dollar I need. So we we'll find the specific ID in the order table and gender data and store it in this dollar variable. And we will send this dollar variable to this view. So here we are going to say comma. Let's say here we are going back to single quotation data. So right now let's go to our invoice.play.bsb and here we are going to say or let's just give to second bracket then we say here dollar data this arrow sign and there you can see we are getting the data from the order table right so let me just go to the exam our database then we go to our order table and here you can see we have some order data and let's say we want to get the customer name so in order to get the customer name we need to say here over here just wait that's all right that's what we normally write so right now let me just refresh and if we now click on win pdf and if we now open our print voice there you can see it is written our gear user let me just zoom in so that you can see our gear you can see i hope you can see it it was on that so the same way we don't want to get the customer address then phone number bar 
তারপর প্রোডাক্ট নেম আই মিন দ্য প্রোডাক্ট টাইটেল প্রোডাক্ট ইমেজ ইস ইন দ্য ডিফারেন্ট টেবিল সো ফোন ইন উনি ফর রাইট ইন এনিথিং বিন ডিফারেন্ট সো লেট ইউ দেশ গেন দ্য কাস্টমার ডিটেলস বাস্ট সো হেয়ার লেট ইউ দেশ মেনশনে সেন্টার ট্যাগ অ্যান্ড ইন দ্য সেন্টার ট্যাগ লেট সেন্ট হেয়ার কাস্টমার নেম দিস উই বি দিস অন ডলার আর্ট নেম অ্যান্ড লেট জাস্ট মেনশনে এইস থ্রি ট্যাগ ওভার ক্যাউট এইস থ্রি ট্যাগ ওপেনিং অ্যান্ড ক্লোজিং সো দ্য সেম ওয়ে ওয়েন গোল টু প্রিন্ট দ্য কাস্টমার অ্যাড্রেস অ্যান্ড ফোন নাম্বার সেট হেয়ার কাস্টমার অ্যাড্রেস অ্যান্ড ফোর অ্যাড্রেস ইন দ্য ডাটা বেস উই হ্যাভ আর ইজি আন্ডার স্কোর অ্যাড্রেস সো লেট সেন্ট হেয়ার আর ইসি আন্ডার স্কোর অ্যাড্রেস আফ্টার দ্যাট উই হ্যাম কাস্টমার ফোন নাম্বার লেট জাস্ট সেট হেয়ার ফোন অ্যান্ড হেয়ার ওয়ে গোন বু সেট ফোর ইফ উই নাও সেভ দিস লেট মো জাস্ট ইন ফ্রেশ হেয়ার অ্যান্ড লেট মি ফ্রেন ফর দিস অল ইফ আই নাও উই গন মেন ফি ডি এফ এফ বি ডি এফ ইস ডাউনলোডেড ইফ উই ওপেন ইট দ্যার ইট এফি কাস্টমার নেম কাস্টমার অ্যাড্রেস অ্যান্ড ফোন নাম্বার সো রাইট ফেল লেস কোয়েন গেট দ্য প্রোডাক্ট ডিটেলস সো উই এর গোল টু গেট দ্য প্রোডাক্ট টাইটেল প্রোডাক্ট ফ্রাই অ্যান্ড প্রোডাক্ট ইমেজ সো ফোর ইট লেস ফোন প্রোডাক্ট উই সে এইস টু ট্যাগ অ্যান্ড হেয়ার ওয়ের গোল ইউ সে প্রোডাক্ট টাইটেল দেন উই গিভ টু সেকেন্ড ব্র্যাকেট লাইক দিস দেন ওয়ের গোয়েন গু সে হেয়ার ডলার ডাটা দিস আর ও সাইন just like before in the order to be dot php in order to gain the product titan and product price we write it like this way for the belt item because we are going to get the title from the product table so let me just explain here and you can see we have the product id so is in this product id uh, from the product tables we are going to get the product titan image price and everything So let's go back to our board and let me just copy it. We paste it here. After product title, we have the product price. Let's say here price. They are price as well. Okay, let's just say this. Then refresh here. Click on print media. Open it. There you can see custom name, address. ফোন নাম্বার প্রোডাক্ট ফ্যাট এন্ড প্রোডাক্ট প্রাইস সো রাইট তাও লেস গো অ্যান্ড গেন দ্য প্রোডাক্ট ইমেজ সো ইউ অল তো গেট দ্য প্রোডাক্ট ইমেজ ইট ইস সিমিলার অ্যাকচুয়ালি উই দ্য স্টেপ টু সে হেয়ার দ্য ইমেজ ট্যাগ অ্যান্ড ইন দ্য সোর্স উই আর গোল টু মেনশন আওয়ার ফোল্ডার নেম ফর উই স্টোন দ্য ইমেজ সো হেয়ার ফার্স্ট অফ অল ইউ মাস্ট গিভ এ ব্যাঙ্ক সিয়ার্স আওয়ার ইয়ার দেন উই স্টোর আওয়ার ইমেজ ইন দ্য পাবলিক ফোল্ডার ইন দ্য পাবলিক উই হ্যাভ প্রোডাক্টস টু দ্য সো উই সে হেয়ার প্রোডাক্ট then in backslash and here you're going to say here let me just copy it from here from call c call call t and it's going to be events if we now save it let me refresh here let's click on open pdl open it and the image is missing okay the image is missing so let me just uh read this face from here and also this backslash from here let this same age and let's try it again and we are going to get that image which is in the second page so right now what we do is that uh let's just make our image size smaller and all the thing uh, if you are not able to get the emails then you can use asset over here or you can also use puffling fan about that as well but for my case it's working so i'm not going to use asset or muffling fan okay so i'm just going to test that in yes height and width let's say height will be looking bit and width it will be let's say 300 so Uh, refresh here let's choose a song let's open it and there you go we have the customer name customer address phone number for our titan price and the image so you can design this page any way you want 
but I'm just going to keep it simple. It's up to you whether you are before making design or not. So this is how you can print MPDF from database data in Laravel. I hope you learned something new. I hope this was interesting for you. If you have any question, suggestion or problem, just let me know in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.